Hey guys, Pete here with Jaya Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to make maps in Microsoft Excel. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I have a data set here, which is the 2023 top 10 cities by population. Now we're going to need the latitude and longitude in order to map these out. So the first thing we want to do is select our data set. Under Insert, we're going to come over here and open 3D Maps. OK, so what we're going to do is we have a field list. So these fields we could actually add to these different layer categories, such as height, category, and time. Or you could just add them by simply clicking onto these different sections. So location, let's add city. And already you can see these little points here. Now these are my top 10 cities by population. And to let's adjust the symbology city. on that, you come and down here already to layer you can options. see these little points here. And now here these are my top 10 cities the by size, population. Decrease the opacity. And to adjust the symbology the on that, we can come down here to layer options. Now and this is in a three increase D, the size, a three D environment. Decrease the opacity. So we can also extrude or out the height, change the color, either by population or by rank. Now this is in three D, a three D environment. As I zoom out, you can see the so different heights also according to population. Extrude out the height, either by population or by rank. Along with the symbols, you can change the different, different heights square according to population layer. Under shapes, we could change the shape accordingly. Along with the symbology, we could change this default square by come up here to layer. And also Under for the shapes, pop -up, we, could we could change what change is being the displayed shape accordingly. So if we left click and we click on this little gear, oops, that little gear icon, we could add fields to this pop-up. So if we say add field, I could say add latitude and longitude. And here's a preview of what that's going to look like. And say OK when you're done. So if I click onto that, I have my latitude and longitude. You can also turn off some of these panes here, like this tour editor. And if you don't want the legend, you can select on it and click on delete. Now we can also change from a three dimensional view into a flat map by going to maps and click on flat map. Again, here we could either uh, remove the height and just keep it as a symbol. So if we go down to, excuse me, if we go up here under data, you can actually change it to a bubble. And you could change the size. And of course, color, opacity. You can also change the background by going over here to under scene. You could do theme and add an aerial imagery background. You could add the layers, or excuse me, add labels to it by clicking on map labels. The further out you are, the more general the labels will be. The more you zoom in, the more detail you'll you'll receive. You could change the theme, of course, to some more of a, a grayscale. Or something that's a little more artistic. At any time, you can always re-add the legend. And you can also add a text box. Change the font size. In color. And 
And of course, you can always delete those if you like, just by selecting onto the box and click it on delete. You could also add to the map. And we could go back over to our data set and say I want to add New York City, which is the 41st ranked city with the highest population. And I'm just going to make sure that my range is selected. Go ahead, click on Save and go back to my map. Now, even though if I click Refresh Data, I'm not showing that point. So what I'm doing instead is re-adding that at the field. Now it's range 1. So here's New York City. And also, if I right click onto one of my points and click on add annotation. I could add the title, the city title. I could add a description or I could even add an image. And of course I can remove that as well by right clicking. And when we're done with our map, we can simply click onto this button here, which says Capture Screen. What it's going to do is copy, and I could bring up Microsoft Word and paste that. And if you have, if you're on Windows, you will have Paint 3D. And if you open that up and simply click on Paste, it'll paste your map as well. And you could crop it accordingly. Go up to Menu, Save As, Image, and pick your format that you would like. And of course, you can always return back to the 3D environment map. So I hope you found this useful. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.